Once again, hockey is grappling with racism, and tonight we're going to talk to two former players about what should happen next. The most recent incident was Saturday night. During a game in the East Coast Hockey League, Jordan Subban faced what's alleged to have been a racial gesture by Jacob Panetta. That player has been suspended indefinitely. And last week, an American Hockey League player was suspended for 30 games for making a racial gesture to Boko Imama. Well, let's bring in two former professional hockey players who've given a lot of thought to issues like this. Bernie Saunders played pro hockey in the late 70s and 80s in the NHL and, and the AHL as well. He's the author of Shut Out, the Game That Did Not Love Me Black. And Anson Carter played for more than 10 years in the NHL, and he's the co-chair of the NHL Player Inclusion Committee. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Anson, what was your reaction when you heard about especially this latest incident in the ECHL? I was shocked, like everyone else that I've talked to. And we have a group chat with our player inclusion committee, and our group chat was on fire because we had just spent the last week celebrating Willie O'Ree, raising his jersey to the rafters, celebrating Dr. King here in the United States. And this is happening after the previous week and the AHL, Boko went through the same exact thing. So I was shocked, I was shell shocked that I was first of all, impressed about the way the AHL handled that suspension. They came down hard, 30 game suspension with the ability to claw back some games, 21 games. They went through diversity inclusion training with myself and my player inclusion committee members. But I was shocked the fact that this East Coast Hockey League player lacked that awareness to understand that this gesture was not okay. And Bernie, what about your reaction? Uh, I wasn't shocked because I've seen it in my entire life. Um, as you mentioned, I, I wrote a book on the subject and I talk about the monkey gesture on, on page one of my book. And so my reaction is more disappointing because I'm 65 years old and it's just so disappointing that in 2022, hockey is still facing situations like this. Bernie disappointed that hockey's still facing this, but on the other hand, you know, it's getting a lot of attention now. When, when, when you had to endure this sort of stuff in the 70s and 80s, I take it there wasn't a lot of attention. Yeah, there, there's that side of it, too, because it is encouraging. Um, I, 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 again, face this multiple times per game, almost every road game when I played um, in, in the early 80s, late, late 70s. And now with a, with a situation like this, you have two uh, incidents that happen in the minor league level and they become national news. And so for me, that's encouraging that the, um, the spotlight is being shone on, upon this. Anson, if you could talk to Jacob Panetta, the player that allegedly made these racial gestures, he made some sort of gesture towards Jordan Subban. If, if you could talk to him, what would you say? I would say it's imperative that you, you know, work with our group and have a conversation about diversity and inclusion and have some training take place. Because I've read some statements, I've seen videos online where he said that he didn't mean to do this. Whether that's true or not, we're not here to debate that. But if he had diversity and inclusion training prior to this event happening, I can promise you he wouldn't have made that mistake. And that's what was so frustrating for me. And that's why I was so shocked because this was big time news just last week, less than a week ago in the AHL. So you're either not paying attention to what's happening around you or you just don't care. But if I had a chance to talk to him, that's exactly what I would do. I'd say, let's have a conversation with my committee first and then let's walk through this training and inclusion and education that we went through with the NHL officials in September. A lot of those white officials were blown away with the kind of training. They said, you know what, Anson? We didn't know a lot of these things. We had no idea. And that's part of it because this is systematic. It isn't just a one-off. It isn't just in the United States. It's just not in Canada. It's systematic within the game of hockey. And Bernie, what would you say to Panetta if you had the chance to talk to, to him? Well, it's, it's interesting because my first reaction as a black man is, is that I, I think the young man deserves due process. You know, people jump jump to judgment, and and I, I saw the video that, that he put out, and so I think he deserves due process. And it's interesting because, as a black man, understand that we didn't get a lot of due process. I mean, you you asked George Floyd about due process, and and it's it's, it's almost a joke, but you can't be hi hypocritical. So I, I think that uh, that he, he deserves you know kind of a, a trial type type of a thing, but 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 um, like Anson said. 2022, man, you, you, you got to be smarter than that. You just can't be doing things like that in 2022. We have maybe 20 seconds left. Anson, last word to you. 
I would say we have to take this opportunity now to educate people. You know, this happened back in Bernie's day. It happened in my day. It'll continue to happen unless we have these conversations about educating people and training people. And let's not be fooled. There's going to be people that will be in front of the cameras now that will be talking about this and taking advantage of the moment. Don't be fooled by these people. Let's make sure we're actually putting in the work. There's a lot of solutions that are being put in place right now that it won't happen overnight. It's going to take years for this to happen and to try to correct our game. But people are actually working at doing this. Let's not just get blindfolded and have people distract us from the fact that real work is actually being put in within the game. And let's not lose sight of the fact that both of you were fantastic hockey players. You deserve kudos for that. But uh, thank you very much for, for speaking tonight uh, about this difficult topic. Thanks. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Ian.